Hi learners! Welcome back to Learner's Haven, where you can learn while having fun. This video will discuss the first basic mathematical operation, which is addition. Let's start with the addition's basic facts. Addition is the process of combining of two or more numbers together. Addition is represented by a plus sign, just like what is shown in our example below. Plus sign can be used as many times as required. Addition sentence is composed of addends, or the number added together, and sum, or the answer that we get when we add. In below example, 15 and 16 are the addends, while 31 is the sum. Another basic addition fact is that in addition sentence, the order of the addends does not affect the sum. Like for example, we have here 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Even if we interchange our two addends, still it will give us the same exact answer. <coughs> Lastly, any number added to 0, no matter how small or large that number is, will always equal itself. It's time to do some calculations. That's a good idea! But before we proceed, just a short trivia. The first official evidence that addition was used by Egyptians and Babylonians was in 2000 BC. Ah! Now, let's begin with adding single digit numbers. To begin with, let's add 2 and 5. It would be easier if we will start with the larger number, then continue counting until we reach the number we need to add. So, for this example, let's start with 5. We have already 5 candies, and we just have to add 2 more candies. So, from 5, let's just count two more. 6, 7. Five candies plus two candies is equal to seven candies. Marvelous! For our next example, it's six plus four. Again, let's start with the bigger number, which is six. We need to add four. So let's continue counting. 7, 8, 9, 10. 6 lollipops plus 4 lollipops is equal to 10 lollipops. That's right. Next, let's add 7 plus 5. Start with 7 and let's continue counting 5 more. 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. 7 donuts plus 5 donuts is equal to 12 donuts. Well done, learners! Let's add more numbers. Number 1, 3 plus 6 is equal to from 6. Let's count on 7, 8, 9. That's the way 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Number 2, 4 plus 4 is equal to from 4. Let's just count on 5. 6, 7, and 8. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Good job! For number 3, let's add 6 plus 5. Let's start with 6. And let's count on 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six plus five is equal to eleven. Excellent. Number four. Six plus one is equal to. We just need to add one, so that's seven. Yes, seven. Well done. For our last item, it's ten plus two. From ten, let's count on eleven. 12. Amazing! 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Yay! Now, let's proceed with adding multiple digit numbers. For our first example, let's solve 25 plus 15. The first step that we need to do is to list down the addends into columns. We need to make sure that we align it according to the place value of each digit. Next, we start adding in the ones place. Then, write the answer under your second addend. If there is a carry, put it above your first addend and add it to the next equation. Just do the same process until you finish adding all the digits in your addends. Let's try it. Let's start with 5 plus 5. From 5, let's count on 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's put 0 under 5. And put our carry 1 above 2. Next, let's add 1 plus 2 plus 1. So from 1, let's count on 2, 3. Then add another 1. So that would give us 4. 25 plus 15 is equal to 40. Let's have another example. This time, it's 39 plus 47. Let's list down the addends into columns. Start adding the ones place, which is 9 and 7. So from 9, let's count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Great! Now, let's put 6 below 7 and list carry 1 above 3. And then, let's proceed with the 10's place. 1 plus 3 plus 4. So from 1, let's count on. 2, 3, Four. Let's add four more. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Thirty-nine plus forty-seven is equal to eighty-six. This time, we're going to have three digits in our first addends. We need to solve 123 plus 79. Again, list down the addends into columns. Start with the ones place. That's 3 plus 9. So from 3, let's add 9 more. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put 2 below 9 and the carry 1 above 2. Now, proceed with the 10's column. That's 1 
plus 2 plus 7. From 1, let's count on. 2, 3. Now, let's add 7 more. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's put 0 below 7 and carry 1 on top of 1. Now, let's add the hundreds place. 1 plus 1 would give us 2. 123 plus 79 is equal to 202. Good job, learners! For our last example, we're going to add three digit numbers 456 plus 671. First thing to do is to list down all the addends into column. Let's add 6 and 1. That would give us 7. This time, we add 5 and 7. So from 5, let's count on. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's put 2 below 7 and the carry 1 on top of 4. Now, let's add 4 to 1. From 1, let's count on. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then lastly, add 6 more. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 456 plus 671 is equal to 1,127. Great! That's it, learners! Next time, we're going to discuss the second basic mathematical operation, which is the subtraction. Yay! But before we end up, just a gentle reminder, never look at your flaws as a weakness. Instead, always consider it as an opportunity to grow and learn new things. Thank you learners! Please like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends and classmates. And kindly hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we upload new videos. Also, if you have a topic that you want us to discuss, just comment down under the discussion tab or follow us on our Facebook fan page at It's Learners Haven Official and we will be more than willing to create a video for you. See you in the next video learners! Mm -hmm.